Hello, and welcome to WP Ask Me. In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps for manually installing WordPress. As you can see, currently we're on the domain scriptstrainer.com. This is where we will be installing WordPress. And for right now, you can see there's nothing in there. So we're looking at the index of page that shows as the default when there's no index file in the in the uh, in the root in the uh, folder that the domain name is pointed at. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is go to WordPress.org and download the WordPress installation files. So in this video, we're going to be installing 3.5.1. That's the most recent version of WordPress at this time. I've already downloaded the files, so now we simply need to upload them. I'll start off by going to the file manager that's inside of my cPanel. cPanel is the hosting control panel. I'm going to select that I want the web root, that is the, the primary directory that the domain name is pointed at. And I'm also going to select to show hidden files. And I'm going to select to skip this question in the future. <clears throat> so now that we are inside of the public HTML folder, the first thing I'm going to do is upload the WordPress files. We'll click the back. And now I'm going to extract the files from this folder. And then finally, I'm going to move these files into the root. So I'll click the move file icon after selecting all. And I'll just get rid of this WordPress folder name and click move files. So now when we refresh our page, we get the prompt to create a configuration file. Now we need to enter a database name, a user, and a password along with the database host. More often than not, your database host will be localhost. There are cases where your database host may be a full URL. It just depends on your server hosting company, your server hosting provider. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is create a database. So inside of cPanel, I'll go to MySQL databases and I'll just create a database. Name this anything you want. And we'll pop that into the database name area. So now we have to go back and create a database user. Okay, so now we have the database user. And the password for that user. So now we have to associate the user we just created with the database we created. So we'll click the go back, add user to database. So we're going to select this database and this, this user with this database. Click add. For the privileges, we'll select all. And now we can submit this.
run the install. Let's give a site title. Your admin username, your admin password. and your email address. And you can allow search engines to index the site, but I am going to uncheck this because this is not a real site. It's only for test purposes, it's set up. And we can log in. Now WordPress is installed on the server. And there we are. Now we have a fresh out of the box WordPress installation. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and do some things to this site. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.